Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy So Debonair. I am back with a new video, and I'm back, back. Um, so I wanted to make sure that um, I came on to some new stuff this week. Um, I'm getting back into my groove again, so I definitely want to do that. Um, and I've been watching. Well, actually, last night I ended up watching the game, and I did not know I needed to watch this show until I watched it. So I wanted to share it with you guys. I don't know if any of you guys have. Um, what is it, Paramount Plus, but they rebooted the game again, and Marabat Ali is back with the show. Um, so it's a really good show. It's, like, really, really good, and I'm excited to see where the show is going to go. Um, so I wanted to make sure that we did talk about it, um, and we'll talk about it with you guys, see if you guys are watching it. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, hey, Good to see you back. Thank you, uh, uh, Charmaine. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about it, see if you guys are watching the show, if you guys are interested in the show, where you like weary about it. So I definitely want to come on and talk about what I thought about it. And then if you guys wanted to be, or if you guys are interested in it, maybe you guys would check it out. But I definitely thought it would be a great idea because um, I'm trying to do some new content on my channel. Um, so let's do it. Um, let's go ahead and do the intro. Well, before we do all that stuff, let's take care of the business. If you want to join my tribe, listen to my site. Go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notifications. Make sure you turn it on all so you get notified every time I go live. Like the video. Share the video. Comment below if you are late or comment in the chat if you're here. And let's go ahead and play the intro, and then we'll get into it. All right? Star I'm fly. Yes. I'm high. Yes. Every day want to get to this guy. Yes. Go. Tonight I just mind. Yes, stay out cleaner than yours, so don't buy. Yes, I'm so definitely so so definitely I'm so definitely so so definitely I'm so definitely so so definitely I'm so definitely so so definitely. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Marcy, how are you? How are you? Um, so I want to get into the conversation about the show, the game. Um, I know that a lot of people, like I said before, a lot of people haven't been watching. Well, they weren't really interested in it coming back. Um, and honestly, I really wasn't either. I did watch it last night. Uh, what's going on, Andre? Um, I did watch it last night and I was like, wow, like I, I could tell that uh, Marabak Ali is back writing again. I hate Pink Domino Mike. Um, I can tell she's back writing again because the storylines are more complex. Um, and so when I watched it last night, I was like, oh my God, this it would be something good to review. But again, I know if it's not on like regular television, and I know people are not probably purchasing uh, Paramount Plus. Um, so I thought, you know, let me just do reviews of it and maybe you guys will want to watch it or whatever. Hey, how's it going? Um, because it was, it's a, it was really good to me. So I thought it would be good to do. So, um, let's go ahead and get into it. I know people come into the room. I know I haven't been live in a very long time. I'm going to do a live probably tomorrow talking about that. Um, but I don't, I definitely want to do this today before I do my Potomac review. Um, so I want to do this first though. Uh, so the show is now they've changed it from, um, I think they were in Seattle at first, the Sabres, um, and now they're in Vegas, and they have switched up the cast, but not with like new, not with like new characters, but with like new people. Um, Cause, well, I'll actually, I think Brittany is like the main focus of this season. Um, and if y'all know who Brittany is, Brittany is, uh, Jason and what's her name? Uh, Jason and um, Kelly's daughter. So I think we're going down the lane of her, their daughter's love story now. And uh, what's going on, Sandre? Um, we're going down the storyline of, of their daughter now, which is really cool because it's not a real new character, but she just has her own storyline now because she was just like their daughter at first. Um, so 
I'm gonna just go through the first seat or the first episode. We're just kind of giving a rundown of what's going on. And then in the second season, we'll get into like what's going on, like, you know, per season. And I'm gonna do it every week just so people can get caught up on it. If you don't want to watch it or if you do want to see what's going on, but you may not want to know, um, you can do that. Um, so we're gonna start off with Tasha Mack. Um, Tasha Mack management is doing at its highest point right now. Tasha Mack is like the she's who you want to be signed to. Um, she's back managing Malik again. Um, we find out that there are still problems going on in Tasha's relationship because if you guys don't remember, um, the last season she got pregnant, but she didn't know if Rick Fox or Pookie was the dad. So we learned that that's still like a, a iffy thing and they haven't exposed whether the daughter it what well, it we, they, we didn't even know if it was a daughter or not, but we learned it was a daughter this time. Um, but we didn't, but we we found out that um she did have the baby and she's having marital problems. Um they, they still haven't let us let us in on much on her storyline yet. Um I think Tasha Mack is like the big boom for everybody because she's like one of the favorites of the show, her and Malik especially with the new cast. So uh, we don't know too much about Tasha Mack. Um, we have a new guy. His name is Jameson Fields. Um, and we have, um, who was a, he's a top rated high school player in the nation, um, trying to get into the team, but has some legal problems. He was arrested for sexual assault for admitting he had sex with his white girlfriend. Um, that was three years younger than him. She was 16, he was 19, and he ended up going to jail for three years. From what the reporters were saying um, was the black people felt like he was wrongly convicted, but the other reporter were saying that the fans were saying 62% of the fans don't think he should have a shot. Um, now he's trying to get his life back together and fulfill his dream of becoming a football player. Um, he's now working as a wait, waiter and a stripper um, at a club while waiting to try out for the new Vegas team. Um, Malik has a really good story. And I'm really liking Malik's story this season because Malik he was very immature before. And um, he still has a little bit of immatureness, but... He's kind of dumbed it down to being more of an adult now. So they are like really like growing him up in this um, franchise. Um, so what I put was Malik has a new friend. It's Kayla. So we don't have TT anymore. Um, what's going on, Pauline? Um, he has a new friend. His name is Kayla. Um, the season starts off with Malik trying to become a, a minority owner of the new team and wants to retire from playing football. Um, he's under the impression that he dealt, he dealt with, uh, his deal went through, but he doesn't know um, if the owner wants him to play, oh, but he doesn't know if the, the owner, he doesn't want to, uh, he doesn't know that the owner wants him to play another year. Um, where am I at my notes? Hold on. Yeah, one more year to bring him on as a minority um, owner. The team has a press conference and dinner. Malik does a song. He does a rap because y'all know he was rapping before. Um, and he gave a speech and he came out from nowhere. And now he's a part. And he's a, now now he's a part owner of the team. He announces that he's retiring only to find out that he's that he is. Uh, he won't be a become a part of the team, a, a owner of the team until next year after he plays and brings the, them a championship um, for the new team. Um, hey, what's going on, Nikki Poole? Hey, Marva, a CB. Hey, so up there. Good to see you on the record these series. I'm so tired of the housewives drama ready for something fresh thank you for a great uh great great to see you yeah i've been trying to find other stuff to watch i do watch other stuff but i don't know if other people want to watch like 
actual television shows, but I really do enjoy it. Um, it's airing on. I just said it what it was. Um, Paramount, Paramount Plus, Paramount Plus. But I watched it on another website. Excuse me. Um, it was called. Um, it was Mr. Hollywood or something like that. I, I'll, I'll I'll let you guys know later on, like, like later on in the show. But I watched another website and I realized that I actually had Paramount Plus because I purchased it because I wanted to watch old episodes of The Real World. So, and I didn't realize they were on the same thing. So I, I watched it on both. Um, where was that? Okay, so Malik later on gets pulled. He gets pulled over in. Oh wait, that's not right. What's that? So Malik gets pulled over, has a press conference and dinner, and Malik does a song in it in a speech about uh, how he came from nowhere and how he's a part owner of this new team. He announces he's retiring, only to find out that he won't become part owner of the team until I just read that part. Um, until he plays, they want him to play for another year before they make him a part owner um, because they want a championship ring for this actual um, team. So the team has a press conference and dinner and Malik does a song and a speech about how he came from nowhere. I think I read this part too. He announces he's retiring. I think I read that part too. So Malik later go, later um, on gets pulled over and it's not right. It's not what I wrote down. I think I wrote this on the second part. So basically what happens is Malik, actually, they, uh, after he does this part, um, they let him know he wasn't a part, he was not going to be an owner, but they want to play for another year, and then he gets upset about it. So Malik really wants to quit playing football. Like, he wants to let all of it go. Um... Okay, here we go. So Malik later on gets put. So then later on in the episode, and I'm just doing this by character by character for the first one, and then I'll go into like the actual episode for the second episode. Um, Malik, Malik later gets pulled over and is smoking weed in his car with his friend Caleb and tries to get him to take the, the blunt, but he won't take it. So Malik actually just swallows it. The cop says he pulled him over for failure to signal at a turn smells the weed and asks him to get out the car and the friend runs um, which is caleb the cop tries to arrest malik um they get out the they get out of the car the friend runs uh, uh, then jameson which is the new character ends up running down the street getting ready i thought i put jameson first on this i did so I wanted to introduce you guys to Jameson first so you guys knew what was happening. So let me rewind all this. Down. All right, so Jameson is the new character. Um, they're building him up to be the new um, Derwin, basically. And he has not met Malik yet, but he just knows who Malik is because he was a football player. Um so when Malik is pulled over and Jameson is going through, he has a probation officer. He was running down the street because he was actually practicing to get ready for his tryout for the team the next day. He seen they pulled Malik over. So um, here we go. So they put it over to blah, blah, blah. the cop tries to arrest Malik, but Jameson ends up running down the street, um, getting ready for his uh, tryout the next day and sees what's going on. He realizes that the second cop walking up to the friends uh, was one of his friend's father's old basketball, his old friend's um, dad who he used to play basketball with. 
Um, he tells them it's Malik from uh, Malik Wright from the San Diego Sabres, and they let Malik go. Jameson tells Malik that he's trying to try out for the team. And I'm sorry, I'm getting text messages. He's trying to he's trying to try out for the team, and he wants him to basically like you know throw the ball to him during um, the tryouts so that you know they, they have some type of bond. Um, Malik says he's not trying out for the for the new team, so he kind of like just blows the dude off. And then he says, um, and now so that was it for that. That was it for Malik and Jameson for that part. So now we get to Brittany Pitts, which is um, Jason and Kelly Pitts' daughter, and I feel like she's gonna be like the main character of this season because she's basically gonna be like the new Melanie. And he's going to be the new Derwin. So we see Brittany. Um, she is now grown. She has her own company based out of Miami. Um, it was doing really well. She was hiring girls to assist athletes for their every, like their needs and kind of like personal assistance. But the company went under due to COVID. She ends up getting evicted and moves to Vegas with one of her friends because while they were on the phone, she was on the phone with her friends. The girl was like, you should move to Vegas. That's where the real money is at. She was like, I don't want to do that. But while she was having her friends over, um, the people came to evict her. And so she was like, you know what? I might I might need to come there. Uh, so Brittany gets to Vegas and her friend lets her know that she has to stay. If she's staying with her, she's going to have to pay rent. Brittany doesn't have all the money, so she goes to this casino. She wins all the money she needs to pay. The bill collector um, comes and collects her money, and then one of the bill collectors comes to the window and collects the bill collected money from her. Um, so in the midst of this, she runs into Tasha Matt. And Tasha's like, let me call Kelly right now. Let me call Jason. What's going on here? Uh, I don't know. And uh, Brittany was like, please don't tell them because they don't know that I'm in all this debt. And which, honestly, she probably wouldn't have been in it because her business was doing very well until COVID happened. So Tasha ends up just giving her a job as her personal assistant because in the beginning of this Tasha ended up firing her assistant because she was sleeping with Malik. And, you know, Tasha don't really deal with all that stuff. So she ended up firing the person. Um, her first job was to deliver alcohol to Garrett. If you guys didn't watch the last episode on BET, Garrett was the new quarterback for the Sabres. Um, he gives her like thirty thousand dollars. Well, he gives her thirty thousand dollars to give to a party planner, but Brittany cancels the party planner and plans the party by herself. She talks to her roommate. Her talks to her. She talks to her roommate um, into using a club that she works at because her roommate is a singer and she also is a waitress at that club. And so is the guy. Um, What's his name? Uh, Jameson. They both worked at the same. They work at the same place. So she talks her best friend and talks to the owner into letting her throw this party at that club. Um. So her she ends up. Um, she cancels the party planner and she plans the party herself. She talks her roommate into talking to uh, the club owner into letting her throw the party there. And let her roommate sing there, and Jameson is working there as a party host. So that's basically like the first episode. It wasn't nothing like really dynamic. But then episode two is where you really get into everything. So episode two, we get more into Brittany and Jameson. Um, it looks like they are, like I said, they're becoming they set up to be the new Melanie and Derwin. Jameson shows up to the tryout and is the best candidate, honestly. Like it made Malik really impressed, um, and he gets in the game because, again, Malik didn't want to get into the game and play or anything. 
Tasha doesn't want nothing to do with him because she heard his backstory. Um, but Brittany knows about him and she's talked to him. So she was like, no, he's a really good person. And because Mal he helped Malik get out of, out of the cop, the cop situation, Malik is kind of like on his side as well. Um, Brittany finally. Wait, that's not right. Okay, so Jameson shows up at the trials for season for the episode two, um, for the trials, and he's the best candidate, and that's why Malik did it. I said that part. Um, I said that part. So they start the trials, and he impresses Tasha. Everything is going good until some of the fans start booing him and telling him to go home because of his past charges. Jameson didn't. Uh, he doesn't let it bother him though. And he still plays the best game he can play. Even though he wants the best person, even though they want the best person for the um, training camp, they pick somebody else. And it was really bad because he really did good. Because, like, I don't think that Malik would have even joined the team had it not been for him. Malik was like, I don't want to do it. I'm done with it. I'm not playing this game no more. And when he, after him meeting Jameson outside of the uh, whole training thing or the, for the trial and then meeting him in real life, like it, it brought him back into the game. So Brittany finally gets uh, her girls from Miami to Vegas and they host um, Garrett's party, which is the guy from last season. The party ended up being a success. Garrett shows up and tells her that she, that he knows that she canceled his original party planner, but because it turned out so well, he offered her a job um, of being his official party planner. So Brittany really was doing her thing. Brittany has been really different this season um, because she's fending for herself now. Like she's not using Jason and Kelly's money. She's doing her own thing right now. And everybody's loving her for, her friends are loving her for because she's bringing wealth into everybody that's on the show. So um, the next scene is um, Jameson shows up to the party and him and Brittany start talking about um, the name of their company, which they always like do cheers or whatever like that. And it's called 828, um, which is one of her and her best friend who works at that club the day that they became best friends. Um, and she told him that it was basically like the day they became best friends. So it was uh, 828, which is August 28th. Um, they flirted with each other for a little bit. Brittany apologized to him because she keeps on having these weird conversations with him every time they meet up because she is flirty but nervous around him, but she bombed that too. So the club owner walks up and lets her know if she can keep the, pack, the people packing up that club, she will let her use the club whenever she wants to. Jameson also warm, warns her, like, be careful with this lady because she's basically, she's shady and she's dangerous and things like that. Um, then a club goer comes up to them and Brittany and tells Brittany to be careful. And he tells her to be careful because of basically this guy's past. He was like, he's probably going to the roof to you and take advantage of you. And the guy, Jameson, basically kind of gets mad. And then he just, like, start, they start fighting. Uh, Brittany had to take care of her party. So she, like, took, she took control of it. Security took those guys out of there. And I could tell, like, she wasn't really happy with it because she really, like, likes this dude. So it wasn't really cool for her. But she knew that she had business to take care of. So she had to choose one or the other. Um, so Tasha and Malik, they head back to San Diego the next day because Malik is over it. He's like, this is why I want to be here. It's not good. I don't want to do it. Um, but Malik is dealing with one of his friends that passed away. And the dude got into a car accident. I'm hoping these notes down. The dude got into a car accident. I mean, not a car accident. He got into an accident playing football. 
They put him in a coma and to the point where he passed away. So the dude's dream was to own a football team or be a part owner of a football team. And he never fulfilled that because he died playing football. And they were in college playing football. So one thing I didn't realize was the dude that Malik was talking about was the dude that was his friend sitting on the couch with him and walking through the whole thing, which was crazy because he kind of said the guy's name was like very low. So you didn't under you like you didn't really get it until he said the, the, the guy's name. And so he's like trying to live out this legacy of his friend who passed away. Um, which was kind of sad. So then Malik ends up going to Richmond, which is where they were wrote from. Um, he visited the friend's grave and they were singing a song. And I wish I would have I would have understood it then, but I didn't get it at this point. He was saying that the Duke, the Duke, Malik was there pouring out alcohol at the boy's graveyard, at the gra boy's grave. And the boy showed up behind him saying um, something like, it's happy birthday, but happy death day to me. And I was like, why is he saying that? Why is he saying that? And he kept singing it. And Malik was like, I wasn't sure you were going to show up. And the boy kept singing it. So then he got on Malik, like, yo, stop being so sensitive about what's going on. Like, you know, you got to fight to do this. And Malik was like, you know, I'm afraid because what happens to me after football? And I think I related to it because I'm like, you know, I think as an older person and you go through things like, you know, how does that work? You know, you want to make sure people still value you in the same way. But the dude was singing this, so he actually made him sing the song with him because you realize that the guy that he's been hanging out with was the guy that's dead. So it was really crazy. Like, and this is why I love Ma Mara Brock Ali because she knows how to create a storyline. And it's really fun. It's really dope because it's like, different things that go on in your life, like especially for us, like you don't really know, or maybe sometimes we do go through these things, but we don't really understand it. But like showing this was a really dope idea for me. Um, so yeah, I wrote down, the, we learned the reason um, he's passionate about uh, his whole this whole thing is because his friend Caleb, who he played college football with, um, he wants to honor his legacy. Caleb was his, uh, his uh, I already said that part. Uh, so I'm for like he's sincere. Uh, I read all this stuff. I probably skipped through a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to just go off the top because I'm reading too fast. So honestly, what I think is this. I think it's a really good show because honestly, this Malik being more mature. Malik wasn't very mature in the la in the past seasons of this show at all. And I think that even when we saw the last season, it was like, oh, this is terrible. But watching Malik grow up and even watching Tasha and Matt grow up is, is amazing because They've been very immature the entire time. But I think that even watching from the first episode to the second episode, not realizing that the guy that he was like trying to fulfill that legacy with was his actual friend. And that person was there because if you watch it, like he ne no one ever addressed this person but Malik. And getting there, it's like, okay, it makes sense. Like Malik ain't really all the way there. So he actually went and got CAT scanned or a CT scan um, to find out like if he's crazy. And the doctor was like, no, you're, you're totally fine. And um, I, there's a there's a term that they have. There's something that have, people have that play football. 
I can't think what the name of it is, but you can't find out what it is until you actually pass away. And Malik was asking her, like, is this is what I'm going through? And she's like, you know, I can't tell you this until you actually pass away because we don't, we can't really tell you this because they get hit so hard during playing football. Um, but I think that really what it is is that it is something that Malik needs to do for himself because this guy has end goal. You know, football is almost over for him. And so he needs to figure out what else he's going to do after this, which becoming a partial owner, which I don't know if 5% is like a good thing. And maybe y'all can say in the chat if it is. I don't know if 5% is like, because they were calling it a minority, um, a minority ownership. So I don't even know if that's like what it is, but. They were saying that um, he was he was saying, like, you know, I want to fulfill this because of him. But I feel like it's coming because and it, it's resonating in him because he hasn't he doesn't feel like after his career is over with because he knows it's over with soon. Is this it for me? Um, <clears throat> and then we also realized that and. I'm sure, I don't know if a lot of you guys have watched like the last season, but Tasha Mack was pregnant. And we don't know who the father is. So Tasha Mack calls her daughter. And she's like, where's your dad at? And she's like, he doesn't want to talk to you. And we're like, if you haven't watched it in a while, you're like, why? But you understand now, we don't even know which father the kid is talking about. So maybe that's why, and we know that she's still married to Pookie. Um, but I thought it was a really cool experience um, to start the show off with because it kind of it rounds everything up for the last season if you actually watched it. It also brings up what's coming up that's new. And I think the new storyline is gonna be Brittany, which is Jason and Kelly Pitt's daughter. How's this gonna work for her? And it's starting off with her and this guy de- like being injured to each other, which I think is really cool because Brittany is really interested in the guy. And so I just wanted to just talk about it for a little bit. I don't know, y'all can put it in the chat. Have y'all watched it? Anybody? Yes, no, maybe so. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, God. I knew it wasn't going to be a lot of people because I know people don't have this show. I mean, don't have that app, but I just want to know who who watches it. Um, I didn't even know it was a, I didn't even know it was back on. Yes, it's they, Paramount Plus brought it back. People keep fighting for the show. So I want to review it because I feel like people are watching it. Somebody's watching it. No. Um, which is your favorite and why? I think I love um, Brittany because Brittany's storyline has never really been had. Like she was just Kelly and Jason's daughter. And to see her like as an adult and see that she was successful, but COVID hit and now she's not and trying to rebuild that. I think that's why I like, uh, like uh, Brittany a lot. Going to watch it now. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> uh, watched it years ago. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Aquarius MC. Yeah, I want to. I want to do stuff that people are not doing. So, I thought this would be fun to do and get people excited about. If you watch the episodes, like they're really. It's very interesting. It's very mind like boggling because honestly, I didn't know that the friend was dead. And they still haven't even said that he's dead. 
I didn't know it was I was an old show. Oh, it's a it like it's it's an old show. They revived it like four times at this point. Are they going to have new seasons? I'm, I'm assuming that they are because I think with what I've seen so far, this will go far. Especially with people who have apps and like to watch shows on apps. Now with Paramount Plus, I don't know. But I think that if they do, if people catch on to it, people will start watching it. I have to create me another fake email account so I can get another job. Those so I can watch. I bought it. I actually bought it because I want to watch the real world. That was the only reason why I bought it. But it's really good, though. It's so good. And I watched it on another website first. Um, yeah, Tasha and Tasha Mac is Tasha Mac. But she has growth, though. And it's because of Mara Brock Ali. If Mara Brock Ali is involved in it, you know you're going to get a good show. You know you're going to get a good show. So that's why when I saw it, I was like, let me check it out. But I would definitely tell you guys to check it out because it's a, it's like it's, it's going to get good. Especially with this thing with Malik because... When the cop pulled them over, like you didn't really, you didn't know that the boy, the friend wasn't alive because the friend actually got out of the car and ran. But the cops never paid attention to the friend at all. The, the cops actually was like arresting him until the new character, um, Jameson, was like, no, that's Malik from the Sabres. So they stopped him from getting arrested. But it made sense. Like it, I like the twist of the story because it's like, if you know everything, okay, I get it. Like, maybe you won't know and watch it, but it wasn't until this, the second episode towards the end that you realize that, that the person they've been hanging out with is not even alive. So, I think you should. I mean, they do they do have a free trial. When I signed up for my free trial, it was like, uh, so you actually have a subscription? <laughs> I was like, I still had a subscription, what? But yeah, they do have a, a free subscription for a little while. Check out the first two episodes. If you don't like it, don't subscribe. If you do, subscribe. But I would love that because I would love. I want to. I want to review this. I think it's a really good concept. And actually, what I would say do is wait until next week. I did have the third episode and then do it. Okay, I can watch the new episodes, but I found the 2006 series. Oh, you never seen this? You never seen it at all? Yeah, you got to start from the beginning to understand why getting Paramount Plus is even okay. Because I'm going to tell you, I was a fan of the real world, so I got it because of that. Um, I didn't even realize that that was on the same platform, but... I was happy that I had already paid for it. I never, I didn't, I've been paying for that for at least six months, and I didn't even know. Pow, 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 pow. pow. <laughs> yeah, I would wait until like the third episode, maybe even the fifth episode, and then subscribe to it, binge watch the the five episodes. See what you like, and if you don't like it, then you know, don't. But this, and I would go and binge watch the old episodes too, though. Hulu has all of them, Netflix only has like three. So if you have Netflix, go watch all of them there. If you're interested in it, then go to Paramount Plus, or at least get your free trial and then subscribe to it. Well, that's all I really wanted y'all. I want y'all to hear what I had to say about this. I know it wasn't going to be very long um, because I know I didn't think people were really watching the show. But I wanted to put the bug in your ear real quick. 
so that you could at least try and watch it. Um, a matter of fact, let me see what I, what I do. Mm -mm -mm. I could tell you how to watch it for free just so you don't even have to. It's not even this. It's um it's called Mr. World Premier TV. Um, if you don't like if you are skeptical on it, you can watch those on that thing. I don't want to put it in the link because then I want them to shut it down. But they had the first two episodes on there, and it made me interested enough to I want to go pay for it without the hardy pay for it. So haven't seen the new episode yet. Do they have most of the main characters? So um, yes, yeah, so there is Tasha Malik, Kelly Jason, Derwin. Well, okay, so let me say this. It's Kelly, I mean, not Kelly, it's um, Tasha Malik and Brittany right now. But Derwin, Kelly, Jason will all be on this. And I think I said Derwin will all be back this season. The only person that I haven't seen, like the original cast, was Melanie. It's a switch or something. No, I'm going to do it today. I promise I'll do it today. I promise I'll do it today. Uh, and I did not watch it. I uh, did not watch it as yet. Okay. Well, y'all can go on, and I'm going to tell you the free site. It's MrWorldPremier.tv. You can go over there and watch it for free to see if you want to actually purchase the app. But it is a, it's it's going to be really good. And I would even tell you guys, if you want to wait like, you know, five weeks, you can get five weeks of episodes. I mean, you don't, have, you don't really have to wait that long because it's not like you're to pay for it. But this is where I watched it for free last night, and I wanted to go pay for it. And I realized I already had a, a membership. So, Deb, off topic question: You had announced changes on your channel. I was wondering if you could tell us more before you decide. Um, so, more stuff like this, like I'm going to be doing like more show reviews. Um, not a lot of reality show TV shows because people are so opinionated about those things, and I don't want to get into those conversations. Um, what I want to do is like have fun over here. So if I got to watch <laughs> fake shows with fake storylines, you know, I'm okay with that because at least we know we can at, at least admit that it's a fake storyline. Um, I am going to cut game night until December. I am doing all my podcast channel on Thursday though. So if you guys want to do game night, we will do it on Thursday night on my podcast channel. But I just want to revamp my channel because I don't really want to be in this place where the beef set has to be intercepted into my channel because this is not for me. Hey, I have to get uh, Paramount Plus to check it out. And also, I can watch The Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip. Well, that's on... Um, Peacock. Oops, I typed it before I said they shut it down. I hope I did. Spoiling. No, 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 no. It's still up. I, I just looked at it. It's still up. It's still up. Google it and then it, it'll take you there. Oh, thank you for the uh, change. Will be good. Yes, absolutely. Hey, Amen. Um, I need to watch one of your game nights. Uh, well, tune in on Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be live on my channel and my podcast channel. Um, and I have some new games that actually are be arriving today. Um, and then I'll do it on, I will do it. I'm going to probably change today because I realize a lot of people are doing game nights now. So I'm going to probably change my day. But um, we definitely do game nights on this channel. 
there are a lot of good shows. Reality is only one genre. Actually, absolutely. I wanted to do 911, but I'm like, it's so difficult to do 911 <laughs> because it's so traumatizing. I don't think people, I don't know who, what, I, like, I never, people saying they watch it. So, wait, so does that mean Terrence TT isn't on the game anymore? Ooh. I don't know who that is. Change is always good. It's always a good thing. So, Deb, always looking forward to it. Um, yes, and we can talk about this now. I guess I love you. Nice. We're going to put this now. Um, actually, I'm just going to change a lot of things on my channel because what what is going on on YouTube right now, like, I just don't want to do it. I don't like it. I don't I don't feel comfortable with it. I'm just not that. I'm not that person. And so I feel like every person that I meet, it, I just keep getting dragged back into it. So what you will see is me here on my channel, and that's probably going to be it. Um, and, so, and I have some friends that I do stuff with. I'm both 911 are good in California. It's oh my god, like I love I'll I'm gonna get right back to this. I love uh Lone Star and I love the original 911. I never uh, the yeah, Lone Star was Texas. I don't have California though, but I love all of those. Um I love all the I love all of those, and I what I, I think that you know with my channel, I started somewhere and I just kind of got lost. And, you know, I've been really in a space, right, in, like in my peaceful space, where I just want to like re just do everything because I don't want to be around this. Um, did you watch the American Crime Story? This one is about. No, I didn't watch that. I did not watch that. No matter what you just uh, decide, I will be on your team. Thank you so much, of course. Uh, riding with you until the wheels fall off. Thank you, Ms. G. Carter. Uh, thank you, Pink Dynamite. I'm like, um, I watched my own one. It's a good, it's a good to review the regular TV shows. Yes, I, I, I think that's why I want to move on to. I think when you get to the reality shows, like even with me and Busy, like Busy is like in this space with like this whole um, colorism thing. I'm like, I, I didn't, I wanted it to be fun. Like, I think watching regular shows. I could stick to having fun with people I do shows with together. I, that's all I really wanted. I didn't want to debate. I mean, I, not even debate, but like get to a place where it got to where we can't even do a show together because it might not be good. Like I just wanted to do fun stuff and talk about it and have different opinions about it. Not that, you know, I, I didn't, you know, so. Um, Original 911 is the, is, uh, oh, it's from California. Okay. Uh, think they are in LA. Yes, they are. They are. They are. They are. Um, the game night on So Debonair is YouTube famous. Nobody does it like this channel. <laughs> Thank you, DT. <laughs> uh, your spirit speaks to make change. Do it. Okay. Yeah, I just want to change some things. Um, and I mean, I, I, I'm glad I'm able to start that on YouTube where other people are doing it. But I just want my own thing. You know what I mean? Like, I get people are going to do the same thing sometimes, but I just want something for myself. And I realize, like, in the atmosphere that I'm in, people are not reviewing shows like this. So, the rookie, I have to check that out. I have to check that out. Like when I come on though, y'all, I want to have fun. Like I want to talk about stuff. I want to bring it up on the panel and like see how y'all feel about it. I want to just like really enjoy the time. YouTube was supposed to be fun for me. It was supposed to be a full time job. It was just supposed to be fun for me, and it just turned into something like totally different. So I realized like a lot of people weren't watching the game. I could tell by the numbers. Like people were like, I ain't watched that. I don't. I don't know there. So I understand that part. But I'm trying to find certain things that my, me and my subscribers like, you know, what we like to do and what we like to watch so we can talk about it together. It's not just me talking to y'all. I love to interact with people. Yes, yeah, fun, fun. I agree. This will be fun and nice. Thank you. 
Um, yes, fun. Okay. <laughs> I'm like all this reality show stuff ain't that serious to me. It's really not. I live my own reality and it ain't that damn fun for me. So everybody else's reality, hey, you know, live it. Everybody talk about it. You know, gang night was my thing. But, you know, I do think I'm like the king at it. And, you know, I'm 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 gonna still do it. Like I'm probably I'm gonna start back next month. I'm gonna just be traveling. Uh, from next week up until the beginning of December. So I wanted to, I had to cut it because, and I was just not really, I'm like, I've been really in a space where I'm kind of dating and all that stuff. So I just really wanted to take a little bit of time for me, honestly. But when I saw the game, I was like, yes, I want to talk about it. So if you guys, <laughs> Like if you guys do want to, I can tell you where to watch it at. Um, and if you guys want to, you know, buy, you know, pay for the app, absolutely do it because support the black people that are making that show. Honestly, it's an amazing thing. I think the fact that the game has been uh, revived, I think three times now, or is it, is it three or four times? Is amazing. But I think we need to support it, though, because these people on this show, uh, Wendy Raquel Robinson, um, Jose Chanchez, um, I think those were the only two big names that came back. But even with Brittany changing to a different person, but her character is still there. Like I think it's amazing that they're able to like people are still fighting for this. So as black, like this is not even like a toxic channel. It's not a housewife channel. We got to worry about, you know, colorism or like that stuff. I don't, not that I don't want to talk about it, but I turn on my TV to be entertained, not to have a political like debate. I don't. Uh, you didn't tell us you were dating. Uh, I did say that. <laughs> Oh, I think actually we were on busy channel when I said it. Um, but I did say that though. And I'm not dating like one specific person, but I'm just in a space where I'm able to date again. And this is a good space for me. So, I mean, I'm enjoying it. And this is probably why I was pulling out so much from YouTube with everything that's been going on and finding my happy place. Like, that's where it was at. Um, game nights on Mondays, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, correct? Yeah, no, they were at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so I think I would be good for everyone to suggest some show they like to watch. And then, to, yes, I would love that. And I always tell you guys, like, if you guys have something you want me to talk about, please let me know because this channel is not about me. It's about you guys as well. And I want to make sure that what I'm talking about, like, because I'm talking about the game, there's 20 more people in here. If I, when I come about Potomac, it's going to be like 800 people in here. So I want to make sure what I'm talking about is like stuff that you guys actually like. You know, I I will sprinkle in some things that I do like to, like, you know, bring you guys up to speed to see if you guys are interested in. Like, you know, I watch this. What do y'all guys think? Now, Paramount Plus is a little bit different because it's not a Netflix or a Hulu channel. So I understand everybody's not going to be watching that. So I knew when I came in today, I wasn't going to get a whole bunch of viewers today. I knew that. But that 22 people here, hey, it's good for me. I'm good for you, a fool out loud. <laughs> oh, God, 4 a.m. in my time zone. LOL. Well, it's, uh, hey, just realize this, it is 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in my time. So make sure that's the right time zone for you. I got you. I must have forgotten about it. But so glad you're in that happy place. Yeah, I, did, I definitely said something about it. It just seemed like it all, it just saw, all started happening in the time that I really needed to happen for me. Uh, which I'm really excited about it. So, you know, nothing is like really solid or promising at this point. It's just like having fun and doing it, you know, zoning it. <laughs> uh, are you just dating or is this? A, 
No, I'm just dating right now. But I mean, a, a few of them are like special people that I've already dated. So it's very interesting. And to like backtrack a little bit. I was actually gonna make this like a whole nother live, but <laughs> since we're talking about it. Yeah, have fun and just enjoy life. Absolutely, DT. Mm. I'm sure you're interested. <laughs> Good for you. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I've always been a person. I think I want to end this and like restart this whole. <laughs> Matter of fact, I probably am. I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm going to end this live, and I'm going to make another live because I wanted to talk about this already. But I'm gonna end this one. And I'm gonna restart another live. I'm gonna probably do Potomac tomorrow because I'm really not. I really want to talk about Potomac. I don't feel like it's fun anymore. So I'm going to end this live, y'all. And I'm about to start another one in like 10 minutes. So just give me a second and we'll be good. So, so we can really have this conversation. All right. So I love you guys. If you don't want to join that live, I love you. If you're not there, I love you back. Um, but I'm, a, I'm going to make another one so we can talk about this. So give me 10 minutes. I'll be right back. Bye, y'all.